Hi there, and uh, thanks for joining me today. Listen, I wanted to have a quick word today about gratitude, um, being grateful uh, for everything that you already have in your life. Um, I think that the majority of us spend our time always kind of, uh, rather than living in the now, we're living in the future all the time. We're always thinking about that car we want, that holiday. It seems to be the human condition that we're always seeming um, to want to move towards new goals and new dreams. And, and, and there's absolutely nothing wrong with that because um, that's where progress comes from. And if we were to stop that, then there would be no progress and be a pretty boring place to be. But you know what, I wanted to wind back a little bit and talk about this gratitude thing because it's one thing to be really driven to try and achieve more and more things in our life and, and, um, and to move forward. But it's another as well, and equally is important, uh, in my opinion, to actually stop, take a deep breath, and really, really take in what you already have and feel really, really grateful um, for that. And one thing happened uh, this week, just gone, in my, my life that made me reevaluate everything um, and look at my life in, uh, in terms of spending more time with my family is that my daughter was involved in a nasty car accident which thankfully um, she came out of with some minor injuries could have been a lot lot worse but effectively the vehicle that was involved was um, had also a big digger truck big dumper truck on a trailer behind awful lot of weight didn't see my my um, daughter indicating to turn right and went straight into the back of a car at uh, quite some speed now the thing is that my daughter got away, thankfully, as I say, with some minor um, injuries, and she'll be okay. Um, however, normally, my young grandson, who's, who's only just four years old, is normally traveling in the back seat of that car, and thank, um, thank goodness on that day, he was with me and, uh, and, his, uh, and his nan. So he was, he was absolutely safe. But what it does do is it makes you think about how quickly things can be taken away from you. It certainly pulled me up and made me think about everything in my life that is very, very special. And it made me want to cherish it and be in the moment. And I think that's the message I'm trying to get to, across to you now is that you really must live in the now. Cherish each and every moment because the second that moment has passed, you never ever get it back again. And who knows where some, when something that you absolutely adore, something that you really, really cherish that makes your life special just isn't gonna be there anymore. And I'm sorry if that's a depressing message, it's not meant to be. Please, I, I, I would ask you to reframe what I'm saying. It's just that I wanna get a message to you that you need to spend every day feeling gratitude for the things you already have. And you know what? All the other stuff that you're hoping to get, that'll take care of itself because everything you're doing is being done from an attitude of gratitude. I hope this message um, finds you in your own particular life really, really well, uh, you know, well, healthy, prosperous, all that stuff. And, um, and just take that with, with you um, today into the future enjoy every day, love everybody with everything you've got in you, and have a great life. I'll speak to you again soon. Thanks. Bye-bye.